सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स करिकुलम बेस्ड सीरीज ध्वनिशाला सो लेट्स ज्वाइन इन ध्वनिशाला क्लास सिक्स नमस्ते एंड हेलो टू ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर निधि सिंह एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट क्लास सिक्स जोग्रफी टेक्स्ट बुक चैप्टर वन दैट इज द अर्थ इन द सोलर सिस्टम टेल मी हैव यू एवर लुकड एट द नाइट स्काई हाउ ब्यूटिफुल इट लुक्स इज इंट इट देर आर न्यूमर स्मॉल ब्राइट शाइनिंग थिंग्स स्टार्टेड इन द स्काई हैव यू एवर थॉट ऑफ वॉट आर दीज येस दीज आर सेलेस्टियल बॉडीज सेलेस्टियल बॉडीज इंक्लूड सन मून स्टार्स एंड प्लैनेट्स एट्सेट्रा सम सेलेस्टियल बॉडीज आर वेरी बिग एंड हॉट दे आर मेड अप ऑफ गैसेस दे हैव देयर ओन हीट एंड लाइट विच दे एमिट इन लार्ज अमाउंट्स दीज सेलेस्टियल बॉडीज आर कॉल्ड स्टार्स डिड यू नो द सन इज ऑल्सो अ स्टार देर आर काउंटलेस सच ट्विंकलिंग स्टार्स इन द नाइट स्काई सिमिलर टू दैट ऑफ द सन but we do not feel their heat or light and they look so tiny why so this is because they are very very far from us this is similar to that of a flying aeroplane though it is actually huge but looks very small when we look at it from the ground while watching the night sky you may also notice various patterns formed by different groups of stars these are called constellations ursa major or big bear is one such constellation one of the most easily recognizable constellations is the saptarishi meaning seven sages or seven saints You can do one thing today. As soon as it gets dark, you can go out of your house or stand in your balcony and try to find some patterns in the sky. You can take help of your grandparents or parents. Do you know during ancient times people used to determine directions using stars and especially the pole star? pointing to the north direction even today many of us use pole star as a determining symbol of north direction apart from the twinkling bodies in the sky there are also some shiny bodies that do not twinkle or they do not flicker these are planets planets do not have their own heat and light rather they are lit by the lights of the stars can you think of a name of a planet yes our earth itself is a planet even our earth will look shiny if we look at it from a very far distance like our earth there are other seven planets in our solar system that get light from the star called sun we will be discussing about the solar system after this the word planet comes from the greek word planetai which means wanderers the earth on which we live is a planet it gets all its heat and light from the sun which is our nearest star if we look at the earth from a great distance as i said it will appear to be shining just as the moon the moon that we see in the sky is a satellite till recently that is till august 2006 pluto was also considered a planet however 
in a meeting of the International Astronomical Union, a decision was taken that Pluto, like other celestial objects discovered in the recent past, may be called a dwarf planet. Some of the planets also have satellites. Earth has a satellite that is Moon. The Sun, its eight planets, satellites and some other celestial bodies make the solar system. If we consider solar system as a family, then the Sun is like the head of the family. Let us know more about the Sun. The Sun is at the center of the solar system. It is a huge mass of gases and is made up of extremely hot gases. It provides the pulling force that binds the solar system. It provides us heat and light. But why don't we feel this heat? This is because it is 150 million kilometers away from the Earth. Do you know how many planets are there in our solar system? Yes, there are 8 planets in our solar system. And what are their names? If we travel from Sun to away from it, they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. All these eight planets move around the Sun in an elongated or elliptical path. These paths are called orbits. Can you make out which planet amongst the eight planets has the shortest orbit? Since Mercury is nearest to the Sun, it has the shortest orbit among all the eight planets, whereas Neptune has the longest orbit. Since Earth is the third nearest planet to the Sun, it takes 365 days to cover a full round on its orbit around the Sun. Do you know light travels at the speed of about 3 lakhs km per second? Yet, even with this speed, the light of the Sun takes about 8 minutes to reach the Earth. So you can imagine how far this distance is. Let us now discuss about our own planet, that is Earth. The Earth is the third nearest planet to the Sun. In size, it is the fifth largest planet. It is slightly flattened at the poles. That is why its shape is described as a geoid. Geoid means an Earth-like shape. As per our knowledge, the favourable conditions to sustain life are found in the Earth only. Can you think why so? Yes, since it is neither too far nor too close to sun, therefore it is neither too cold nor too hot. It has water and air, which are very essential for our survival. The air has life-supporting gases like oxygen. Because of these reasons, the Earth is also called a unique planet in the solar system. Do you know how does the Earth looks like from the outer space? From the outer space, the Earth appears blue in color due to the presence of large amount of water on it. Because of its blue color, it is also known as a blue planet. When you were kids, you must have heard bedtime songs or lories with the mention of moon. You must have also sung the rhyme 
ट्विंकल ट्विंकल लिटिल स्टार हाउ आई वंडर वॉट यू आर इज इंट इट टूडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इट द मून आर अर्थ हैज ओनली वन सैटेलाइट दैट इज द मून नाउ यू मस्ट बी वंडरिंग वॉट इज अ सैटेलाइट अ सैटेलाइट इज अ सेलेस्टियल बॉडी दैट मूव्स अराउंड द प्लानट इन द सेम वे as the planets move around the sun the diameter of moon is only one quarter that of the earth it appears so big because it is nearer to our planet than other celestial bodies it is about 3 lakhs 84400 kilometers away from us you must be knowing Neil Armstrong was the first human being to step on the surface of the moon on 20th July 1969 as the earth takes 365 days to complete around around the sun moon takes only 27 days to take around around the earth do you know like the surface of the earth moon also has mountains and depressions on its surface the shadow can be seen even with the naked eyes on a full moon day you can try this out sometime apart from the stars planets and satellites there are numerous tiny bodies which also move around the sun these bodies are called asteroids they are found between the orbits of mars and jupiter scientists are of the view that asteroids are parts of a planet which exploded many years back similarly another type of celestial bodies that are small pieces of rocks and move around the sun are called meteoroids sometimes these meteoroids come near the earth and tend to drop upon it during this process due to friction with the air they get heated up and burn it causes a flash of light sometimes a meteor without being completely burned falls on the earth and creates a hollow have you ever noticed a whitish broad band or a white glowing path across the sky on a clear starry night it is a cluster of millions of stars this band is the milky way galaxy our solar system is a part of this galaxy in ancient india it was imagined to be a river of light flowing in the sky thus it was named akash ganga a galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases there are millions of such galaxies that make the universe this means that the universe has several galaxies in it and milky way is one such galaxy within milky way our solar system is there and within the solar system our earth is located where we all live by now you know what are stars planets solar system galaxy and universe you can also imagine the vastness of the universe let us plan some activity take a paper and pen or a pencil try to draw few concentric circles on the sheet of the paper in your maths class you must have heard about this terminology isn't it if you don't know there is no need to worry i will tell you concentric circles mean circles with the same center so when you will draw the circles it will give an impression of few rings one outside the other now try writing universe 
मिल्की वे सोलर सिस्टम एंड देन अर्थ इन साइड ईच सर्कल वेन यू राइट दिस यू विल हैव यूनिवर्स एट द आउटर मोस्ट सर्कल एंड अर्थ इन द इनर मोस्ट सर्कल बाय दिस एक्सरसाइज यू मस्ट हैव अंडरस्टूड द यूनिट्स ऑफ द यूनिवर्स एंड ऑल्सो विच वन इज बिगर दैन द अदर वी लिव इन अ ह्यूज यूनिवर्स विथ मिलियंस ऑफ सेलेस्टियल बॉडीज सम आर नियर टू अस वाइल सम आर वेरी वेरी फार अवे वी हैव नॉट बीन एबल टू इवन मेजर द डिस्टेंस ऑफ मेनी ऑफ द सेलेस्टियल बॉडीज फ्रॉम द अर्थ दो with the help of mathematical calculations and modern techniques and satellites we have been able to overcome this problem to some extent do you know these satellites are the human made satellites and moon is the natural satellite of the earth a satellite is a celestial body that moves around the planets in the same way as the planets move around the sun we talked about human made satellite what are these a human made satellite is an artificial body it is designed by scientists to gather information about the universe or for communication it is carried by a rocket and placed in the orbit around the earth Some of the Indian satellites in space are INSAT, IRS, EDUSAT, etc. These satellites help in communication and for educational purposes. Climatic information and warnings about weathers are also sought from these satellites. So these satellites are designed specially for the human beings and for their use. Our very existence is dependent on this universe. Not only this, but many of our day-to-day -day things are also dependent on the existence of other celestial bodies. Have you heard of Makar Sankranti? It is a festival celebrated in almost all over india with different names makar sankranti is celebrated with the change of solstice and movement of the sun we celebrate it by eating jaggery or gur poha or chura and curd sesame seeds or til is also eaten in various parts of the country during this festival Can you think of some other festival that is celebrated in India which has a dependency on some of the other celestial bodies? Yes, Eid is another festival of this kind that we celebrate with the help of a celestial body that is moon. Eid is celebrated with the rising of moon. We celebrate it by eating sweet dishes and by wishing and hugging each other there have been many hindi songs written on moon and when one looks beautiful we tend to compare the beauty with that of the moon isn't it have you ever heard the name of galileo he was the person who said that the sun is at the center of our solar system and the earth revolves around it but then during the ancient times many thought that the earth is at the center of not just our solar system but even at the center of the whole universe due to this reason many refused the concept of galileo and he was even criticized a lot for this later galileo's saying was found to be true in this discussion we got to know about the universe galaxies solar system stars 
the sun the moon the earth asteroids and meteoroids etc we also got to know about the uniqueness of our earth we now know that the very existence of human beings is on these celestial bodies and even in the day to day life we have a dependency on these when we look at the cultural practices that we have can you also imagine how old we become or how tall we become we all are so tiny in front of the huge universe isn't it it is difficult to imagine how big the universe is scientists are still trying to find out more and more about it we are not certain about its size but we know that all of us you and i belong to this universe let us have a rapid fire round of questions and answers try to write down the points on a notebook or a piece of paper question number 1 what is meant by the solar system i will answer this for you the sun eight planets satellites and some other celestial bodies such as asteroids and meteoroids now second question name all the planets of our solar system according to their distance from the sun The answer is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. This is the sequence in which the planets are located in our solar system when we travel from sun to farther away. Now the third question What is the difference between stars and planets? Can you think of it? Yes, stars are the celestial bodies that produce their own light whereas planets do not produce their own light rather they get heat and light from the stars. The fourth question Why does the moon look so big to us while the sun looks smaller? Yes, the moon looks bigger to us than the sun because moon is closer to the earth as compared to the sun. Question number 5. Which celestial body lies at the center of the solar system? Remember Galileo what did he say The sun lies at the center of the solar system Who all got all the questions correct Good that's very nice Those who could not can again go through the chapter and try to answer these questions on your own
Put carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. They release oxygen. You live on this basis. If trees are less and plants are few, carbon dioxide is less consumed. It creates a global warming. Thus, I'm filled with fumes. So now I will discuss with you what happens with me. you all. Jungle is the habitat of wildlife and trees. Save the jungles for the life, it's the only key. So now I will discuss with you what happens with me. There's nothing to worry. This is how we get to learn things. So children, I think you must have learned so many things about the earth and its solar system. In the next chapter, we will be talking about globe. And in the subsequent chapters, I'll be coming with several other topics. By then, bye, take care. So friends, you were just listening to the series Dhwani Shala. Production assistants Minakshi Kukreti and Tanu Gupta. Recorded by Shanu Muksim and Vikas Sangwan. Produced by Vandana Arimardan. This program is brought to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.